So guys, Freddy's 562 shooting a late night video. Um going through some of my stuff, just organizing my books, and I found some of my old old books. If you saw my first video, I talked about how I used to read books when I was younger. Uh, these are actually the first books that I purchased, not purchased myself, but my father bought these for me at a flea market. Uh, when I started collecting again uh, last year, around June, uh, I went back to my mom's house. I remember I had some older, uh, older issues of Spider-Man and stuff like that so um these are some of the books that were in the box that my father purchased for me when i was younger had to be about 92 maybe 93 i was 13 12 years old around there um this is the kind of a uh, crap that was in the box um x-force number five uh and the can look at that <laughs> Did I say Kung Fu Panda's a uh, evil samurai cousin? I guess. Hmm. Green Lantern one twenty five worth nothing. Some Green Lantern one fifty eight. Um, Cutie Bunny. I don't know everybody anybody's ever heard of that book? Uh, let me see. This. I have it back because I want to show you guys this. Look at that, man. You don't give a 12 year old damn bunny pinup. Look at that. Adam Hughes ain't got nothing on this. Anyways, I was 12 years old reading this. My mother wondered why it would take long in the bathroom. <laughs> Silver Star. Number one. Um. I guess some kind of Jack Kirby art. And um there's some other books of uh, Batman, what is this? Three thirty three twenty three. Batman three fifty two. Um you know that's that's the kind of stuff that was in there. And um, you know, digging through that old box I found the key issues I remembered. Um, this is Iron Man and Submariner number one. Uh, these books, they're really beat up condition. Uh, maybe 0.5 to, to a 2, and that would be probably a GPX grade, if anything. Um, there's another one, uh, Amazing Spider Man 31. Uh, that's the first uh, Gwen and uh, Harry Osborn. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 41, First Rhino. And again, guys, uh, the books, you know, they look good maybe because they're in the plastics, but they're really beat. They're, some of these uh, staples are popped. And Amazing Spider-Man 46. It's full of creases and all sorts of goodness. Like a, oh, well, that's the first shocker. And... That's a big one right there. Amazing Spider-Man 50, uh, first Kingpin. And that one is, I think only one staple's holding on. It only has two, so one of them's stuck. That one, I don't know, you could see it. It's like a big crease right in the middle. Missing the corner. But still Keisha, still uh, Amazing Spider-Man 50. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 51. Uh, first kingpin cover. Um, I don't know. You can see right there's. It's, I don't know. Somebody ripped the sticker off of it. Amazing Spider-Man Fifty Nine. First Mary Jane cover. Um, Amazing Spider-Man One Twenty One. First. Not first, my but um, Death of Gwen. Uh, Spider-Man 122, Death of Green Goblin, and the last one that I found that was worth something, Amazing Spider-Man 136. I'm missing one book. Um, I'll show you that book when it comes back. I send it out to get press. Um, it is a very big key issue. 
Uh, it's, uh, I'll just let you guys know. It's uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, the first, you know, just remember, the first uh, Punisher. Um, it's beat, though. It's stained, water-stained, and I sent it to get press. See if they could do anything. I'll probably send it out to get graded. I'm thinking of grading these books just because, uh, you know, just the, the, the memories they bring back when I was younger. Um, if anybody's wondering, I did talk to my dad, and uh, he remembers buying these books from me. He told me he paid a total of $15 for all these books, and um, I had some other books, but they're just garbage. So these are the only key issues I found. Like I said, these books are not in good condition, but... There's still key issues. And, uh, you know, just want to show you guys some of the stuff that I have from when I was younger. Stuff I used to read. Huh? Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and uh, viewing my videos, man. I appreciate it. You guys uh, take care. Have a good one. Uh, be safe.